Hello guys, Edward right here back with another video. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sorry for the echo that you might be hearing. I'm not actually using my microphone at the moment, so I'm just using directly the one from the from the laptop. So <clears throat> I just wanted to give you an update and, and show you a few things we did today. Um, even though today was actually a holiday in the United States, and a few things did happen. The market did crash, did actually continue going down. Um, but, but after actually the market closed, uh, the President Putin actually went live and he was pretty much in an interview and I believe this is some, some actually good news, I would say. So let's see what's going to happen tomorrow with the market based on this news, okay? <clears throat> Basically, they're saying that Putin is recognizing the rebel eastern Ukrainian region as independent. So, undercutting peace talks. So, this is starting to recognize their independency. So, let's see if this is actually something good, which I believe so. There at least are some good news among, you know, all those other bad news. But let's see anyways what's going to happen tomorrow since the markets are closed right now um, with this type of news. If the market is going to start now correcting back up, or is it going to continue crashing? Some, some, some other type of news will be coming up. So anyways, I uh, just want to give you this, <clears throat> this view right here. We did, I did send, um, you know, a few signals, a few analysis to the VIP group. And, uh, right here, this was pretty much one of the setups. I love this, uh, this type of sell today. Um, the market was struggling. You see right here, the market was struggling to break above the 3400. This is basically a psychological level um, and slash support slash resistance. And plus also was doing a, which I believe was a, like a double top right here on the 15 minute time frame. Plus when I went on a, on a five minute time frame, I was actually uh, drawing this little um, channel right there. Okay, I did send the actual setup directly to the VIP group, and I was I was telling them guys just just wait for uh, for the market to do its thing. Let's see if it's gonna actually continue dropping, or is it going to continue like pushing up and breaking above the 3400, <clears throat> uh, 34,000. I'm sorry. So. Uh, we did have a, momen a momentum, big momentum candle to the downside, which was a really nice sign right here. Even though the New York stock exchange opened right here, actually, with this little candle, the New York stock exchange opened. So it didn't do much. You see that pretty much it was struggling. So it went down a little bit and then pushed back up to do that second double top right there. And then it started to go down. So I, set, uh, I actually set up some alerts below this area and above this area. I was telling my students to, you know, to just get ready for anything. <clears throat> so if it starts breaking to the upside, most likely the market would have done something like this, like with a push and then maybe a pullback and then continuation to the upside. But that didn't happen. The market actually started breaking to the downside very strong and then it started slowly going down which today, because I knew, you know, that there is a, it's actually a holiday, and I was aiming for a one to two, as you can see right here. It's a one to two risk to reward, basically, on the breakout. I did enter a little aggressive before the, the actual candle closed, the time of the candle closed. So I did enter a little aggressive, and I put the stop loss above previous high, right there, and I was aiming one to two, okay? So then, then I was just pretty much scaling in on a one minute and I wanted to see the formation, what the market was actually doing. So this was a good sign. The market was, you know, breaking to the downside, pushing back up, okay, that little pullback right there, retesting the previous zone that it broke. And that's a good sign again. So it's another small bearish flag. And the market did continue pretty much its way down. So I told my students that I was actually out pretty much right here, right here. In this area, I was pretty much closing all my entries right there. Um, since, as I mentioned, is the it's it's a holiday, so you know I didn't want it to hold it for longer. I'm I'm satisfied pretty much with this drop, like a one to one risk reward. That's fine. Um, and the market is still going down. Some of my students may still be holding actually this sell, but that's 
this this is a point like whenever you reach this area right here this is a point where you actually go on break even so all right <clears throat> so anyways let's see what's going to happen uh, tomorrow if it's going to continue uh, dropping or is it going to start now correcting due to the actual news okay which is i would say kind of good news uh, Nasdaq pretty much did exactly the same formation, so I did send all three analysis. Nasdaq, US 30, and S&P 500 did exactly the same formation. Nice little bearish flag, breakout, look at that nice momentum candle, so going inside there. The markets are closed right now, of course, and, but still actually going, going down in this area. So. Nice little drop in there, and let's see if it's going to continue to the downside. Let me actually see on a bigger time frame. Yeah, you see it, it also broke the 14,000. Now it's, it's trying to get lower and lower. You see this pretty much psychological levels are pretty strong levels in the past. The 15,000, the 16,000 that were reached before. So right now the market could be reaching the 13,000 very possible but with all this news it's very possible but at least we're having some some good signs on this one okay so getting ready you just be patient guys <clears throat> let's see what the market is going to start doing actually as soon as the market opens and um, tomorrow okay if it's going to continue the, the the direction is still bearish there's like there's no way we should be looking actually for buys right now other than actually selling since the market is still uh, strongly bearish, you can see uh, you can see also a, a nice double top right here before it crashes and continue crashing. So let's see S and P 500. You see pretty much exactly the same. It mirrored everything. You are starting Nasdaq and S and P 500. So nice setup as well. You can see the price broke that little area, <clears throat> a little support right here. It broke it and came back up for a retest, forming a nice bearish flag. I was waiting for a, a candle to actually break. So look at that breakout, nice breakout right there. Entry, one, two, two, risk reward. This one is almost about to close it to actually hit the TP right there. And so on a much bigger time frame, on a four hour time frame, and the market is reaching already the 4300, <clears throat> which is our psychological level right there. Very strong support, very, very strong support in the past. You can see the price could be playing around or trying to get as low as, you know, this area as well, or even getting closer to the 4,200. Um, but still, let's see, as I mentioned, we don't go by until, you know, unless we see some signs of, uh, you know, the market went, wanted to reverse, actually. So right now you see the price is very, like strongly to the downside. So you can see a push, a pullback. You got another push, you got a pullback, retesting a previous zone right here. You see doing like another, like a double top right there. And then a drop. And you got the push, you got the pullback, you got the push, you got the pullback, retesting previous area. And now you got another push. So you see it's very strong to the downside. It's creating lower lows and lower highs all the time right now. So uh, no reason why to be actually looking for uh, for buys other than just going with the momentum with the actual fundamentals right now because it's kind of crazy you know I'm not I'm not used to actually trade with the fundamentals but right now the market is based off of that like hey based on this guy uh, on this guy right here is just, you know is scaring everybody so that's pretty much it what happened with the indices. I did catch also this nice, nice buy, which is also still open since the market just closed and still open. Really, really nice buy on gold. I did send also this setup uh, to my actual uh, VIP. Let me just show you right quick here. Let me go here so you can see much better. So right here, pretty much, these are all the analysis. Look at that, like this. I did send the first one, which I was pretty much saying, if it breaks this previous area right here, most likely will retest and then continuation at least to this weekly zone. 
or if it shows signs of a breakout to the downside, it will most likely come back down here. Okay, and then like six minutes later, I sent this. Let me see if you can see the, uh, the time. It's not showing the time. I'm not sure why it's not showing the time here. Maybe on my screen it's not showing it. But like six minutes later, you see, boom, the market actually started breaking to the upside. So I did send it. Then it started pushing and pushing and pushing like really fast. And it was doing a pullback. I did send a video right there. So right here at this point, I told my students, you know, go stop loss to break even. So all those setups, really nice until pretty much now. We are climbing on top of this weekly zone. So I'm convinced that the market could potentially reach that target right there. Nice setup already on break even. Let's see what's going to happen with gold. So it was pretty much, you know, going against. Like if the markets are crashing, if indices are crashing, gold is actually doing pretty well in, in war times. Uh, I hate to say this, but yeah, yeah it doesn't sound good. But um, gold looks like it does really good um, when, when there are bad times, you know, war times. So hopefully not, nothing is going to happen. Uh, but still, you can see that the market is uh, on gold is very bullish right now. So I'm pretty sure we're going to be reaching these targets right here around this, this area. So Bitcoin did not did good. Actually, it is just continue uh, pulling back. How low is this going to go? Like right here on the daily, <clears throat> you saw that trend right there. Um, being broken now it's coming strongly to the downside again so is it going to reach now the 30k is it going to just do a little pullback right there and since you know we have a little um i don't know it could could be a zone right here so is it going to be like a double bottom and then start pushing up again i heard a lot of news on on bitcoin uh, that you know, we could definitely be crashing and getting lower, you know, than the 30k. So let's just keep an eye right there. Uh, I'm not buying. I'm not. I'm actually. I'm not buying right now. I'm just watching. I like to do this type of setups and find these type of setups on Bitcoin. From time to time, I I do enter, but at the moment I'm out. I'm just because I know that what's happening right now with the war, this could be very very bad for cryptocurrency. So. Just watching at the moment alrighty so anyways I, that is it guys I just wanted to give you that little update and showing you the setups we spot today uh, if you're interested you know you can follow me on my free group I do share from time to time I do share free analysis on my free channel on my free telegram group if you're also interested on the bundle that I'm offering right now which is on sale and uh, which is only like a week remaining for this sale that I'm offering for the month of February um, it's only $80, you get the course, you get the mentorship, plus the VIP signal group for life. So guys, if you're interested, you can go directly on my website, teamprofitsfx.com, or you can just, you know, leave a comment in the section below, or you can just write to me directly on my Telegram group if you're interested, okay? Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you're new on the channel, please subscribe. You know, a lot of content will be coming in soon, and uh, give it a big thumbs up, okay? It motivates me to keep you know, making more videos or, uh, more often for you guys. I know you love this type of content. So thanks again. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, guys.